I'm Chris Nelson, Creative Director at Super 73, and this is my S2. Out of all the bikes that we have at Super 73 right now, uh, the S2 just seems to fit my lifestyle. I live in Long Beach, California. Don't see too much off-road use, so RX, a little bit much for me, so. Bought an S2 and just immediately stripped it apart. Starting at the front of the bike, what I did was take a front end from one of our R bikes and just plug it right in. It's just a little beefier, bigger brakes in the front, and it bolted up really nicely to the S2 frame. It's a little bit taller than the S2's original front end, so I had to drop the forks through the tree a little bit to get it to sit level, but it fits really nicely and uh, adds a little bit more control to the front end. And to uh, kind of beef up the front end a little more, I added uh, one of our tracker bars, which we just launched and uh, they sold out, but more are coming, so don't worry about that. A uh, pair of Biltwell grips that are nice and chunky and, uh, you know, keep my hands comfortable. And then also uh, put on this insanely bright Baja Design Squadron light uh, that should keep me safe riding around Long Beach at night. Also, one of my favorite features of this bike is the Grizzly tires, which I stole from Parker Pittman, who's been uh, hoarding them from R&D for a while, and I figured he didn't need them anymore, and those should be launching soon. And then uh, stripped down the frame, brought it over to one of my guys in Long Beach who does uh, hot rod painting, and had him do this really nice gloss green gray that I think uh, really fits the whole character of the bike. It's almost like a primer gray, but it's got that really high gloss finish, and I don't know, it just seems aggressive, but also a little bit elegant, which is kind of what I was going for with this bike. The most noticeable change to the appearance of my S2 is that I moved the battery from the top of the frame to the neck of the frame, and uh, also had a very, very long custom seat pan cut out of stainless steel, powder coated, and then wrapped in leather and tri-grip by my friends at Saddleman Seats in Compton, California. And it's a thin material, but it's really comfortable because they have plush foam and gel inserts in there. To cap off the back of the bike, I stole a fender from an RX, which I think looks really good and complements the RX front end. I added on a pair of Crank Brothers Stamp 11 pedals that have gold pins and are really grippy give me a good place to keep my feet while I'm riding. One of my favorite features is that our fabricator, Chris Schweers, actually made me an aluminum cup holder that I had powder coated. And uh, it's nice and tight so I can ride around and my drink won't spill. And to finish off the bike, I added a Tiger lock because uh, recently I had my S1 stolen in Long Beach and I really don't want this one to be stolen. So I hope you like it. I know I like it and I'm really excited to start riding around and see what kind of looks I get.